Get full episodes of The Damage Report as a podcast on iTunes and Android, and you can watch the live show every weekday on YouTube TV. First, I just wanted to start with an update on the on one of three shootings that happened in America uh, yesterday. The, this one is the Chicago shooting at Mercy Hospital. Three people are dead, including a police officer and uh, two people that worked at the hospital. Uh, Tamara O'Neill, 38, an emergency room physician, has died. Uh, a pharmacy resident named Dana Less, who's 25 years old and recently graduated from uh, Purdue University. The residents are the ones who are like the youngest ones there um, doing their, their residency. Uh, officer Samuel Jimenez was the uh, officer who died. Essentially what happened on the day was there was an altercation between a, a man, the shooter, and a woman with whom he was in a relationship. Uh, a friend tried to intervene. Essentially, once that intervention had begun, the man showed that he had a gun and just started shooting. People called 911, people tried to take cover, and when the police got there, the gunman opened fire on the police before they were able to get out of their car, um, but they advanced into uh, toward the shooter. There was an exchange of gunfire, and it is yet unclear whether the uh, the shooter was killed by his own bullet or by the police officers. But this was the one of the, the headlines that I saw in my morning updates was this is one of three high profile shootings that happened in America. Yeah, there was one in Baltimore where a seven year old girl was shot, uh, her or a, a young girl was shot. Her seven year old sister last year was killed by gunfire in Baltimore. Uh, this is a, a girl who was younger than seven, it doesn't stop. One of the encouraging things out of this election, which is, you know, it's not all about politics, but guns were an issue for the first time uh, in a long time. Chris Murphy, the senator from Connecticut, started his NR8, targeting eight races, raising a million dollars, went eight for eight. Uh, Florida gun uh, candidates, candidates who ran on guns, did pretty well there. And around uh, and in California, there's a woman named Debbie McCarcel Powell who who was who lost her father to gunfight, uh, to gunfire. Uh, she won a seat from Carlos Curbelo in Florida, uh, Lucy McBath in Georgia. People are starting to talk about it. So, what was the difference? What, in your opinion? Well, I mean, the difference was Parkland. I think these kids. I think that was the the main difference. Uh, that that that's the only thing that you can say changed. Uh, the difference between Newtown and Parkland was in Newtown. Everyone was so young, right? Nobody could carry the torch. These were college-bound, you know, high schoolers, you know, purpose-driven, and they haven't stopped. Usually, it stops. They have not stopped. It haven't made that big a difference yet because they can't, because it's an, a behemoth of an issue. But they are there everywhere, and they don't stop. And I think that's pretty much the difference, and why it's the politics are starting finally to, if at least, not trend toward gun control they're tr trending away from just you know the gun rights people right but and then but then i lo look at the fallout of what happened at the shooting in thousand oaks it was um, extended magazine that was made le was made illegal that he still was able to get um, but oh, it's a long i talked to a lot of people i'm from that area yeah. and a lot of people were like i went out and bought more guns yeah. that that's was, what happens that's what happens uh, um, and the other last little detail before we move on is just the distinguishing the regular shootings from the high profile shootings. I thought right. that was an interesting framing that I saw in my update in my one of the a bunch of the headlines actually three high profile shootings. Right. The fact that like you look at a shooting and you go is that high profile enough? Uh, does it get the coverage for the 28 minutes that we will be covering these kinds of shootings in America because right. they're so frequent? Um, anyway, so uh, our hearts go out to the people affected, and really, in a way, that is everybody in America. Thank you very much for watching this clip from The Damage Report. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell on YouTube to get notifications of our new videos. And of course, you can catch the full Damage Report live every weekday at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific on TYT Network on YouTube TV.